important every woman has a mastery of her menstrual cycle to know what is going on in her body before she sees her menses. So stay tuned and listen to more. channel talk pregnancy with dr nuela where we tell you everything about pregnancy and other women related health issues so if you're new to our channel please click the subscription button and click the notification button such that if there's any new video you're going to be the first to receive it and to those who have subscribed before thank you very much and i love you so today we're going to be talking the changes that occur in a woman before she sees her menses. What happens in the body? What happens? This is what we call the menstrual cycle. The menstrual cycle starts from when a woman sees her menses to the day before the next menses. So what happens during this period? This is what we are talking about today. So it's not the menstrual cycle is usually divided into two phases that's the follicular phase and the luteal phase so during the follicular phase what happens is that the follicle stimulating hormone stimulates the ovaries and stimulates some eggs which helps this egg to mature so during this time the follicle stimulating hormone stimulates the eggs to produce estrogen which will in turn help to mature these eggs the one egg which finally matures is being released into the fallopian tube this is what we call ovulation when this egg has matured until it is released into the fallopian tube and ready for fertilization so during this time there's another hormone which acts which is called the luteinizing hormone which actually helps in the release of this egg into the fallopian tube once this egg has been released into the fallopian tube it is ready for the sperm to come and fertilize so if this egg is not released then fertilization cannot occur so once the egg is being released into the fallopian tube and ready for fertilization there's this hormone which is also produced called progesterone this progesterone helps in order to thicken the inner lining of the uterus why is the inner lining getting thick because if these eggs get fertilized by the sperm then it has to come and implant into the womb so it should not be thin so during that time when the egg is sitting in the fallopian tube and waiting for the sperm to come and fertilize it it is also the progesterone also helps to thicken the inner lining of the womb so during this period from ovulation to your next menses at the end no sperm has fertilized this egg what happens the egg has to die it cannot stay there the egg degenerates and once it de degenerates this hormones progesterone drops this estrogen drops so the drastic drop of this hormone causes the inner lining which was growing which was getting thick it causes it to break so once the hormones drop that's the egg has died the hormones definitely dropped so the inner lining of this womb tends to break and shed off that is when we see our menses that is the bleeding that occurs the first flow is usually pinkish then when it starts getting to second day and the third day it tends to start getting dark in color average days is 28 day cycle but it can range from 21 to even 35 which is a normal cycle for some people especially if it comes regularly so even with the flow some people flow for averagely three to five days but some people even flow for one day for two for two days some people flow even up to seven days but once it is consistent all the time for your month you see that as your own normal with the menstrual cycle let us know that it is it is your own it is not our menstrual cycle so your friend's menstrual cycle is not the same as your cycle so if your friend has a 28 day cycle does not automatically mean you have a 28 day cycle you have to know how to calculate your own menstrual cycle 
so if this was helpful to you please give a thumbs up to our video and if you need me to talk about anything please drop it on the comment section thank you for listening i love you god bless you